Previously, we had this function, and we sketched the first derivative shown here. Now let's sketch the second derivative. Let's take a look at the first derivative graph. The slope starts out positive until this point, then it turns negative. So the second derivative will cross the x-axis here. Here we see the slope switches from negative to positive, so the second derivative will cross the x-axis here as well. As x goes to negative infinity, the slope of the first derivative is approaching positive infinity. And then as x gets closer to this point, the slope is going to zero. So we have something like this. From here to here, the slope is decreasing at an increasing rate, but then when it crosses the origin, it's decreasing at a decreasing rate. So there's going to be a peak point here. The slope switches from negative to positive here. And then as x approaches infinity, the slope approaches positive infinity. If we compare this to the original function, the original function starts concave up and then switches to concave down here. So it goes negative. It's concave down until this point until it switches back to concave up. So it becomes positive. 